I love that feeling of walking out on the street and exercising my democratic right for climate action now. I can't wait. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanking the Nature Conservation Council of New South Wales. They've been working on this for years and without them we simply wouldn't be here today. People say that John Howard hasn't done enough on climate change. Well, unfortunately, it just hasn't been that good. He's actually been at the centre of undermining international efforts and he's a climate change denier. He's a deceitful, dishonest dud. That is what John Howard is. The scientists tell us that we need to curb global pollution in the next 100 months if we are to avoid dangerous climate change. So it's urgent that we get on with the job. It's urgent that we tell our political leaders that they need to do much more to reverse that rising pollution, make the switch to clean energy, and show real international leadership through the Kyoto Protocol and beyond. We don't have 15 years to wait to see if a solution comes along. We need to do something now. Our technology should lead the world and be given to the world to save us from the awesome, destructive, economic, environmental threat of climate change. This is one of the most important moral, political, social and environmental issues we face. So Australians have got a choice. They can vote for a government that's denied climate change, that's done nothing about it, they can vote for a government that continues, continues to mislead Australians in the debate, or they can vote for a government that will do the following. Immediately ratify the Kyoto Protocol and take international leadership on climate change. <laughs>